Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is a mod spotlight for a new mod that was just made recently by Korba, who is the gentleman who coordinated and put together the Elder Kings series for Crusader Kings 2. So, this, this mod, Crusader Kings Z, is a zombie invasion mod that starts sometime after the year 10, uh, 1000 or 10, oh yeah, 1000. Now, you know, interestingly, I don't, I don't know if this is normal or not, but I can't change the uh, the years from 867, so I think we have to start at like 1066. But yeah, since it can't happen until the year 1060, uh, to the year 1000, we're just going to start, say, is, why not uh, play as some character in England? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. I actually meant to pick the king, but... Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, though, I'm going to fire the event just so that we don't have to wait around for it to happen. It randomly happens sometime after the year 1000. But if you want, you can just go into the console and type event TWD.1, which is the primary event. Whispers of a pestilence. My liege, there are whispers of a new pestilence sweeping through the African continent. It starts off as a mild fever. That's a typo. It should say of instead of, it should say off instead of of. But quickly consumes the afflicted, causing them to die in fits of coughing, bleeding from their bodily orifices. Some fretful individuals are even murmuring of the dead arising from their bloody deaths again, shambling about to feed upon their relatives. An unlikely tale, but nothing but hearsay, right? And let's just play on speed 5 a bit here and see if we can perhaps... Um, oh gosh, my, my vassal, my man... <laughs> I feel obligated to manage the game better. But uh, I just want to see some more of the events happen. The dead walk, my liege, the rumors of the plague in Africa have proven true, and worse yet, the dead walk among us. A huge, shambling mass of zombies has spilled forth into Mali. If the Malians cannot hold them back, we may be all, all be doomed. The end of times are upon us. <laughs> There's something bad happening down here in Mali somewhere. Um, Mali being probably, they're talking about like the, yep, there it is right there. So we've got the... Defending against Emperor Hur of the Undead Hordes and the Undead Horde invasion of Mali. So, that is awesome. Now, this guy, he's randomly spotted. Look at the cool, cool graphics, right? So he looks like a zombie. It's awesome. There's a whole bunch of them. It says that he's in, uh, he believes in the Abyss. He who works with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster and when you gaze long into an abyss the abyss also gazes into you his culture is zombie the culture of characters determines whether their subjects or the characters consider them foreigners <laughs> that is funny he's he's residing in a so 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 he lives here apparently but he's evading invading over here i don't really know how that works but uh, that's fine probably just because of the location of the titular title be my guess but uh so he is a zombie no fertility, general opinion, minus 100. So, um, I'm tempted to just take over as that character and, and play with it a bit, but let's just keep going on speed 5 and see some of these cool events happen. Yep, so he's just maybe something. It's fine. And the undead hordes arrive. So, let's check them out now. So, yeah, he lives here. He's considered to, to be... He's got a tribal title. Doesn't have any de jure de vassals. Is, it looks like it's a tribal empire. Interesting. So he's an emperor. It's awesome. And uh, I don't know if they like get any special... Oh, look at that. They do. They get special buildings and everything. Yes, you can marry him. That's fine. So they get a corpse pile. No galleys. Light infantry plus 500. I'm guessing that this is just built... Probably automatically. Although it doesn't show the actual troop counts changed have yet. Have yet changed. And let's see if any more interesting events happen, like the, the global events. And then if nothing really interesting happens in the next year or two, I'll probably just take over as the zombie character. I'm not sure exactly how it works if you're actually, uh, like if you get contaminated or... Well, they just apparently consumed something else. They're spreading. I don't, are they declaring war? Yes, he is. Attacking in the fourth. Well, that didn't take long. What kind of domain limit do you have? Eight, apparently. I mean, he's not even that great of a character, really. Come on, declare another war. You you know you want to, Mr. Zombie Emperor Her. Defending against the Casa of Timbuktu Peasant Revolt. Hmm. How dare the peasants resist. So every single county that they take over is apparently changing the castle into a corpse pile. And the cities and the baronies below it have nothing. 
This one's building a corpse pile. Let's watch and see what happens when that finishes. Finishes on the 30th of April. If there is a god, yeah, that's just a regular normal event. And we're almost there. We'll almost have a corpse pile done. I'm wanting to see if that just immediately bumps up the, uh, the infantry. Yep, so they've got the corpse pile now. It's complete. Look at that light infantry. Look at that levy. Wow. He probably has a ton of men available. 80,000. 80, yep. That's quite a few. Many of them are probably from the... Uh, Attacking in the Undead Hordes, Invasion of Maratania, 90% in favor of that guy. Now this is, yeah, oh yeah, that is, uh, the Hordes of Undead have engulfed Mali, and they continue their ceaseless, unending march onward to, to new lands, seeking out more flesh of the living to satiate their eternal hunger. We're all doomed. Yeah, so let's go ahead, and we're going to take over as that character, so we can check out some of the events from his perspective. I, again, I don't know, off the top of my head, if, if this is like a playable thing, or like if when they attack you, you can convert to them. Probably not, I'm guessing. But this this mod was put together because of Halloween, basically. So let's go ahead and enable uh, Char Info. And we want to play 505-024. Alright, so now we are the guy. We, we rule this area. And here are the armies. We have a, a Courtier named Brewer the, of the Undead Hordes. I think the names in this realm are going to be awesome. Maybe. If they're the right religion. And the zombies, both zombie plus 200. Yeah, so zombies love zombies. Although zom it's minus 100 for being a zombie. But then both zombie plus 200, so it's, it's a net plus 100. And they also, the zombies care about being granted baronies. They're very diplomatic zombies. So there's just no fertility. So I don't know. Like, are they are they immortal? Can they die? How do they die? How do you how do you continue to play? Okay, so clearly it's looking to me like they're, you're not designed to play as a zombie, but it's still really cool and fight off the zombies. And uh, of course we need a spy master zombie because you know spy master zombies are cool. Let's check out some of the cast of spell. Oh, we actually are already at war, aren't we? He's already declared the undead horde invasion of Sevilla. In the Undead Horde's invasion of Tlemcen. So he's a very aggressive little fella, isn't he? And let's just see. So these armies are just tons of light infantry. Tons of pike pikemen. Pikemen? Zombification. Okay, so those events are things we're not clearly clearly not supposed to see. Zombification. So everyone's turning into zombies in our realm. We just get to kind of see what happens from this perspective, which, again, I, I'm getting the impression you're not supposed to play as a zombie. But it's still cool. So everyone, as, as random people are in our realm, I guess what there's an event firing to turn them into zombies. And normally the AI would just, you know, ignore that event. So let's check. Okay, so we have the Holy War. We have the invasion of Andalusia. We can basically attack, like, everyone. Everyone, there's no one that we can't attack. So, the zombies are going to spread pretty darn quickly. And it would be interesting to fight off the hordes. Any interesting decisions that these zombies get? Oh, they get a decision to zombification. One of the following must be true. Does not have any trait. Any vassal that doesn't have the trait zombie can just be turned into a zombie. And it looks like it fires automatically. And then we have the uh, the decision to eat Wal Walia Ga Gada. So we have a prisoner. We can eat her. Um... Condition is always. We can always eat her. 50% chance that she dies. 50% chance that she becomes a zombie. Uh, she's what? Hmm? She's banished and is released. Hmm. She was banished. Turned into a zombie. Cool. All right. So we we turned her into, into a zombie and left her. Let her go home. Does that mean that she's now? Like, where she came from, and that she's going to cause problems over there? How the heck did she get over here? No, she's not over there. She's over here. Huh. It says that she's at court over here for some reason. And yet her husband... lives here. Interesting. Okay. So, anyway, it's just a little flavor mod. A lot of fun. 
and uh, you know the guy Corba mentioned that he put it together with his his uh, you know his moderate his his group group of people that make mods in like one day. So I think it's pretty well polished considering it's a one day mod and it's really cool, a lot of fun. You should totally check it out, and uh, I might even enable it on some of my playthroughs and just you know surprise zombies could be fun. Right, so, okay, well, I hope you enjoy the mod. There will be a link to it in the description of this video. And uh, I hope you should check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the, again in the next video. See you soon.